Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, so today I want to show you guys how to change the tire pressure from KPA to PSI. For some reason when you buy the car, uh, you get this KPA. I guess it's because the car comes from Japan. Um, but it's pretty easy to switch it over, so I want to show you now how to do that. So on your steering wheel, you've got these three buttons down here. So the top one and the bottom one lets you toggle through, you pull those towards you. And it lets you toggle through the screens here. So now this screen is what you want to, to change. And this is where it says that KPA, so your tire pressure is being read in KPA. So you don't, most people don't want that. Um, so to do, change that, you go in here to settings and you're gonna pull that middle button down towards you and it'll come up with screen settings in there. So then you're gonna pull the middle button towards you again and you'll get that welcome screen, goodbye screen, gauge initial movement, units, and then tire pressure units. So when you get to tire pressure units, you're gonna pull the, the set button back towards you again, and you'll have the option of KPA, go back, or PSI. We're gonna choose PSI, setting complete, and then we'll go through back to go back. We'll hit go back. Pull that towards you. Hit go back again. And now you're out to your main screen and it'll show up as PSI. So 31, 31, 35, and 30. So looks like we need to get some air in these tires, balance that out a little bit, but it's probably okay. Thanks for watching guys and have a great day.